Breaker boys, the third and final video of the night. Last video, or our first video, was our Rule Breakers player pack. Our last video was who to choose from level 15. That is on the channel if you guys want to check it out. Now today, lads, we're going to be going over all of the level 30 players. I'm going to be going over all of their stats, their in-game stats, like their body type, etc. through footbin, and I'm simply going to give a player a rating out of 10. Now, the rating out of 10 is not going to be decided on links. Links are not going to have anything to do with it. Um, I'm just going to simply rate it on 10 out of how good and how usable the card is if you guys are new as well make sure to drop a like and subscribe for player reviews objective guides pack openings videos like this on the side where we go through them you could maybe class this as like mini player reviews for each one but how to is basically everything on this channel fifa related you will see without further ado boys let's get into it now, first up, as a gunner, right, as a gunner myself, I am 100% choosing this card to use for the bench of my Arsenal team. I've already got Sucker in there, so maybe Nelson's better than second in form Sucker, but I like Sucker obviously means more to me. So, Nelson, I'm 100% choosing him, but this is actually my first time looking at his in games, and I've actually not looked at the other two players in games as well. Now, first off, Reese Nelson, 5 foot 9, he is high medium. So, that 5 foot 9 and high medium work rates are two things that I think is already perfect. I'm gonna look up footbin here and have a look at his in games personally ideally you want to see a lean body type for him all right now in game he has got if we head on over to the footbin screen he has indeed got a lean body type which is literally perfect that is absolutely ideal like there is nothing else you can ask for than a lean body type especially for a winger basically it means he's basically small skinny type of body so he'll be able to turn his left stick dribbling is going to be absolutely phenomenal now he's got 90 pace which by itself is more than enough i mean with a chem style you could maybe go for a hawk or something like that to even put him to 95 and get an extra plus five shooting as well don't be fooled it only says 80 shooting but that's for 72 volleys 75 penalties and 70 long shots bringing that down quite a significant amount, right? So disregarding them, he's got 85 finishing, 82 shot power, and 87 positioning. So from the shooting stats, that actually matters. He's got an average of like 84, maybe even 85 shooting. So do not let that 80 shooting put you off. 83 passing as well with some solid all-round passing. Like I believe some of the level 15 cards had like 90 short passing and then like 75 vision. No, Reese Nelson, very well-rounded, 84 vision, 85 long passing, 81... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, 85 short passing, 81 long passing. Personally, their passing, shooting, and pace so far is quite good. Uh, dribbling wise as well, 93 agility, 90 balance, 82 reactions with 90 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 82 composure. Dribbling absolutely sensational alongside the five foot nine and the lean body type. He's going to feel exceptional on the ball. 86 stamina, but he has only got that 72 strength and 60 aggression, meaning going into tackles, trying to win the ball back, and just simply in a one-on-one -on -one against a defender nine times out of ten he will get out strengthened and he has got the flair trait now for the chemistry style I feel like this card is screaming out maybe a marksman. Um, like So a marksman puts him to a 90 rated cam and a 91 left wing in game, giving him a plus 8 dribbling, uh, plus 8 shooting, and plus 6 physical, assuming both a player and your team is on 100 chemistry. You could maybe go for a hawk. It only puts him to an 89 left wing or an 88 cam, but it gets him that plus 5 strength, plus 10 aggression, plus 5 pace, and a little shooting boost there, so you'll just miss out on that passing boost. And it's not like you really need a dribbling boost anyway so i feel like if you had to choose you'd go for if, if you're a pace or like myself and you would prefer 95 pace over the 90 then sure you'd go for a hawk but personally as a cam like if you were to play him in like a 4-2-3-1 as a left cam right cam central cam 100% got to be a marksman if you're going to play him up top as a striker i'd probably say a hawk because you get that strength first but either way boys i think this is a good start and i'm going to give him a nice solid 8 out of 10 i think he's a nice card nice wing he can rotate into the cam roll maybe even a false nine striker like a center forward played behind another bigger striker honestly good start i think this is a respectable card sure maybe i don't see the harm in ea doing four star four star instead of four star three star but realistically considering some of the other level 30 cards we've had in the past i think this is really respectable i'm gonna give him an eight out of ten Next up, we've got Ruben Vinagre. Now, I'm probably butchering that, so I'll just call him Ruben. Now, I'm disappointed he's a left wing back, and he's not got one stat over 90. Come on, EA, really? Obviously, we're going to look at his in-games, as we do with every single card. Um, now, for this to even have a little bit of hope for me, he has to have a lean body type, or else my hope is gone. Um, yeah, he's got the lean body type. Okay, he's got the lean body type. We'll lead it off. 
All right, we'll allow. He's got the lean body type in game, so he'll feel a lot better. And that right trigger, left trigger jockeying with him will be very, very nice. But he is five foot nine. He's a left footer, four star skills, which is nice. Three star weak foot. See the eighty nine pace. I feel like you need to go for a shadow, and then you miss out on the physical boost. Some people will say ninety four pace with an anchor is enough for a fullback, but personally, I want to have my fullback 96, 97 plus pace maximum, because the amount of Neymars and Barpays you're going to be facing, team of year, Lionel Messi's, um, etc, etc, you need pace as a fullback, getting hit on the counter, you need pace as a fullback to drop back, and I think, if this was like a 90 pace left back, I, I mean, yeah, I know it's only one difference, but it's just everyone does it, right? He's got 90 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Everyone sees the card with 80 pace. Say so a center back with 80 pace. Oh, yeah, not bad. 79 pace, too slow. So don't be fooled by that. He's got 90 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. But I don't see the harm in giving him 93, 94 pace EA because genuinely he'd be a really nice left back. He still would be good in game. But I feel like if you really want the 99 pace, uh, he'd go to 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Then you go for a shadow and you miss out on the physical boost but I mean either way 89 pace it would definitely do the job his passing he's got some good vision good short passing some okay long passing of 80 incredible crossing of 91 dribbling 93 agility 91 balance and alongside that uh, lean body type 59 lean body type insane agility insane balance he's going to feel sensational on the ball Defensively, he's not bad. Physical-wise as well, he's got the 90 stamina, but that 77 strength and 70 aggression, especially that 70 aggression going into tackles, he won't be crazy. Um, I mean, I know his natural position's a left wing back, but lots of people don't play five of the back or three of the back formation, no, five of the back formations. But if you were to play like a five of the back formation and change it in game, you'd genuinely make a really, really solid like CDM or something like that. Um, especially with the high medium work rates, he'd be a great CDM, or to be fair, medium high would be like the best CDM in the game like he's like a BTEC I feel like this card is a BTEC version of team of year Cancelo like if I had to compare him to a player I'd probably compare him to team of a group stage Cancelo probably maybe feels a little bit better less shooting but probably feels a little bit better on the ball all in all I think it's a good card and obviously with an anchor 94 pace he'll go to around 87 88 defending and around 85 physical with a shadow he'll go to 99 pace 88 defending and he will, his physical will stay the same if you do go for a shadow I do think that you do miss out on that strength uh, that strength and aggression boost quite a lot that's 77 strength is not ideal whatsoever. Um, he will get out strengthened quite a bit, so it's a good card. I'll give him a 7.5, but he actually looks like a really good card. If you're Portuguese or a sporting fan, then it'd definitely be a fun card for you to pick up. And last, but definitely not least, this is an interesting card, and he is an absolute giant. He's six foot two, high and average body type. He's right footed. He's only got three star skill moves, but he's got the five star weak foot. And this is like our first storyline card with either five star skill moves or weak foot. For how long? That is how like it's taken four seasons for EA to give us a card with at least five star. Maybe we've had like a five star skill move storyline in the past, and no, I haven't paid attention. But five star weak foot. He's the definition of a target man. But I can already already see with six foot two I'm actually a little bit worried to see the agility and balance if both the agility and balance is 80 plus maybe I'd be a little bit happy oh okay now this makes it interesting this makes it very very interesting now starting off of a pace 89 pace 91 sprint speed with 87 acceleration nice his shooting as well it looks a lot more, and it'll be a lot more effective than 87 shooting. Similar to Reese Nelson, his lesser shooting stats are bringing their average down a lot. 75 penalties and 80 volleys are not too important, whereas 91 shot power, 90 finishing, and 92 positioning. The three most important stats under the shooting category of this card has an average of 91, so do not be fooled by that 87 shooting. It is more like 90 pushing 91 for the important ones anyway. Passing, 87 short passing, uh, I mean, it has a strike it more than enough will definitely do the job dribbling now 90 agility and 86 balance as a six foot two guy is going to be really nice but the one disappointing thing under that dribbling is the 80 composure he won't be as composed in front of net as you want him to be and i feel like as a target man striker you want him to be composed right um like his advantage is getting in positions he's tall he's massive his advantage is getting in positions to try and literally bag that home and he's got 80 composure which is a bit disappointing physical wise is some of the best in 
in the game. 91 jumping with 94 stamina, 90 strength, and 87 aggression. And sadly, he does not have any traits. For this card, he's definitely going to be heavy. And despite having 90 agility and 86 balance, he's got 82 ball control, which isn't particularly crazy. So I do feel like on the ball, he's not going to feel terrible, terrible, terrible. But obviously, when you are 6 foot 2 with a high and average body type, you're never going to feel the most smooth on the ball. If you were to opt for a Hunter chemistry style, he goes to a 90 rated striker in game. 98 pace, 94 shooting, his passing is fine. Obviously, you still have to deal with the 82 ball control and 80 composure, and physical you don't have to touch. So if you do if you don't mind 89 pace, obviously physical and passing, I feel like you don't have to touch for this card. So if he was a, a chem style that did pace shooting and dribbling, that would be amazing. There isn't one, I don't think, um, that does pace shooting and dribbling, but something that does shooting, passing, and dribbling is a marksman. Now, a marksman, oh, sorry, no, this does physical, not, not dribbling. So this does shooting, dribbling, and physical. So I feel like that shooting boost, you max it out, but most importantly, you get that plus 10 ball control, plus 5 reactions, and plus 10 dribbling. So he's going to, although he's still going to feel a little bit heavy, don't get me wrong, 6'2", 86 balance, but his ball control, like the actual ball at his feet, he's got 92 ball control with 93 dribbling. He's going to feel a whole lot better, but I do feel like the marksman is a little bit wasted with the physical boost. Maybe you could opt in for maybe a hawk chemistry style he's a hawk cat maybe opt in for a hawk but once again i feel like it just gives an unnecessary physical and and shooting boost so if i had to choose you could just go all out to max that pace out with a hunter or a marksman it's genuinely between hunter or marksman for me no matter which one though he is still going to feel relatively big on the ball and i feel like in slow gameplay he is going to be a he's going to be a little bit of a red flag if you will he's going to be a little bit of a let down if the gameplay is fast you're in a fast foot champs game gameplay if the gameplay is actually slow like if you you know sometimes you play a division rivals game and the gameplay is just so slow it's like pass fast boring boring this card would thrive in, in, in slow gameplay and obviously we never hope for, for slow gameplay but a slow player will thrive in slow gameplay because the gameplay matches this dude's strengths so of you know hold the ball up shoot it when you get the chance take your time with it but if it's a fast rapid fire foot champs game this dude will get eaten alive your left stick dribbling with him will not be too effective i'm going to give him a seven point I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. I'm going to give him the same as this Portugu Portuguese left back. I think this card is really fun. And if you use him correctly, you, he's going to be really, really nice in game. But I do think it is just a body type leading him down. As with this card, he is really good. I just don't see why EA didn't give him 93, 94 pace. If they did, that's a borderline. I mean, I wouldn't quite say team of the year card. But it's like a borderline... I won't say in-game left back, but borderline late game up until team of the season left back. Now, as for this Nelson card, I do think, obviously, he has received the highest rating of an 8 out of 10. I think Nelson is the man to go. He's got the skill moves, and even if he does not start for you, he is going to be a brilliant super sub to have. Bringing a 93 agility, 90 balance, 90 paced, um, 5 foot 9 with a lean body type. Subbing this type of player on in the 60th, 70th minute when one of your other players is tired off the bench for this dude will be an absolutely amazing player. Van Bergen vibes uh, from last year, if you guys remember him. Lads, so if you guys did enjoy, this is my level 30 pick, and it's going to be Reese Nelson. Till next time, see you later.